I viewed the autopsy pictures. They had the frontal part of the cerebrum here in the skull out. So when the picture was taken, you, you think they pulled the skin back up over this wound? That's the only thing I can postulate because the back of his head was gone. This was a huge hole. Mm -hmm. It was on the right. It was nine to 10 centimeters across and you could look right into the brain. Crenshaw. Large hole is at the front of the head. See something else. This is just a, almost a personal observation, a question. Are you pretty comfortable today with the notion that someone was firing at President Kennedy somewhere from the front? Yes. Are you equally comfortable or are you not comfortable with the notion that there is forgery of some sort in the official documents of this? I feel there probably is. I certainly could not be, um, you know, held down to saying exactly how that is by, or even approximately how it is, perhaps. But I feel that there has been some kind of uh, attempt to cover up what was going on. What the witness saw. Was there corroboration for a shot from the front? Dallas clothing manufacturer Abraham Zapruder filmed the motorcade as it drove down Elm Street. It was about halfway down there, I had a shot. And he slumped to the side like this. Then I had another shot or two, I couldn't say what it was, one or two. And I saw his head practically open up, all blood and everything, and I kept on shooting. Two days after the assassination, Life magazine bought the infamous Zapruder film. Its moving images were not shown to the American public for 12 years. The most obvious thing you extract from the film is that the head moves backward, and that suggests a shot from the right front. It is unknown exactly what the film suggested to the members of the Warren Commission, since their report failed to even mention Kennedy's violent reaction to the headshot. That's right, folks. The Warren Commission never even mentioned the headshot. Think about that. It was the Zapruder film that caused the second major investigation because of the Z Zapruder film. Because of that headshot. And, as, and the uh, Warren Commission never even commented on it. Just pathetic. And uh, Abraham... Zapruder, that's what he, he told the Warren Commission. You saw, he saw the president hit on the right side of the head. You thought perhaps the shot has come, shots came from behind you. Well, yes. So, uh, that was his testimony to the Warren Commission. There was one little problem, though. He had a camera in front of his eyes. Let's continue. Let me show you to my best recollection what the wound looked like to me that day in trauma room one. Before each doctor looked at the photos, he described the wounds he had seen back in 1963. I could see the president's uh, head wound quite well, and um, I was probably looking into a wound that was on the lateral or the side part of the head and the back part of the head. Uh, it would be this portion of the head right here. As I remember, it's like this, that there was a big wound, big deficit in his skull, and the temporal parietal area. Now, here's what the Warren Commission and their autopsy they claim the autopsy showed a small little wound in the back of the head. Yet on the Mormon photo, as we go in, take a closer look, I did many years ago. Uh, something very unusual you see here. Here's somebody else that has examined this. Inconsistencies within and the pristine Mary Mormon photograph 
allowed me to go in and actually measure the wound optically without image processing. As we go into the wound and as we expand the wound and magnify it, you can see that the pixel elements or each one of these little dots is represented by dark squares or light squares. Now, if there were no wound in the rear of President Kennedy's head, all of the squares would be the basic reflective value or the basic shade of gray that his normal hair coloring would be on this day. Every time, every time in my years of experience with this, when there is a concave or convex area that is a deformation of the overall image, there is absolutely no question that the case is as it goes darker under this situation, that this is going from an, an area on the top of President Kennedy's head down into an extremely deep hole because the entrance wound that supported this exit wound was fired from the right frontal area of President Kennedy and it exited through the rear. Instead of trying to find shooters or gunmen in the photograph, well, I have tried to find shooters in the, in the photographs, and I found a few other things, too. Now, before these images were made, uh, were found, uh, the Warren Commission defenders had some, some little hope, some case. <laughs> they keep fending off reality and truth. But even, even with this truth before their very eyes, they're still trying to d d deny this fact. Now, is this the only image I've got of uh, the back of the president's head? No. I also look somewhere else, thanks to uh, Robert Gordon's, Groden's uh, enhancements of the Zapruder film. Uh, they were zoomed in some. I've zoomed in either f further, and uh, this is what I see. So we have two independent photos here, the Mormon photo and the Zapruder film, which both show this large wound in the back of the president's head. These, this is not words. The, the, this is a uh, hard evidence, hard photographic evidence of an exit wound in the back of the president's head. Now they can deny that. They were, they could deny anything. Large hole is at the front of the head. Let's see something else. This is just a, almost a personal observation. A question: Are you pretty comfortable today with the notion that someone was firing at President Kennedy somewhere from the front? Yes. Are you equally comfortable, or are you not comfortable with the notion that there is forgery of some sort? in the official documents of this? I feel there probably is. I certainly could not be, um, you know, held down to saying exactly how that is, by, or even approximately how it is, perhaps, but I feel that there has been some kind of uh, attempt to cover up what was going on. Right. He died of a gunshot wound in the brain of a bullet right through the head. John Kennedy was obviously shot from the front. Everybody knows it. Virtually everybody in Dealey Plaza uh, rushed to the grassy knoll where they heard the sounds. They came from a fence uh, between the book depository and the railroad track. From behind the overpass over there, a uh, triple overpass, Right over about 20 or 30 feet from the other end of that little picket fence. And it sounded like it came from the left and in front of us, towards the wooden fence. And there was a puff of smoke that came underneath the trees. We all three seen, four seen about the same thing as the shot. The smoke came from behind the hedge. And then as the cart got directly in front of us, well, a gunshot apparently from behind us hit the president inside side of the temple. Did, did you, do you think the first gunshot came uh, from behind you too? I, I think it came from the same location. I, uh, apparently back up on the, the uh, uh, mall. When I say that I felt like the second and third shots could not have been fired from the same rifle, uh, 
They um, reminded me that I wasn't an expert. 